Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video I have some exciting changes for Rep Paladins to talk about here. Now I did a Rep Paladin preview video not that long ago, with giving the caveat that things were probably going to change by then, so I want to keep updating, keep updating it basically as we go until Shadowlands, Shadowlands actually launches. And so these are some pretty big changes and worth uh, doing a video about, I think. So I'll go through all the changes and I'll, I'll show you a little bit more what they are. So they redesigned Execution Sentence, uh, how it works, it basically uh, uh, does a huge burst amount of damage and we'll go over that shortly um, now, uh, as opposed to its previous way it worked throughout all of BFA. Uh, and Inquisition has been removed. Inquisition has been removed, it's been a staple Paladin ability, but that's because Seraphim was reworked a little bit to be very similar to Inquisition. So you can still pick Seraphim if you want. Um, obviously that's just like a, um, a cooldown to use instead of an active buff to keep up. Uh, but you can still use Seraphim in place of Inquisition. It does pretty much the same thing. But we got a new talent called Final Reckoning. And we'll go over what that is exactly. It's a very cool talent. Other changes. Uh, Ashen Hollow has been reworked to now do a little bit more AoE damage and also increase the damage of your Hammer of Wrath that it does. So it's extremely strong. Now it was already strong. The, the goal against not picking it was the mobility issues that, that came with it. However, um, this is probably as of now, again, subject to change, and if so, I'll do a video changing it. Um, subject to change, but Ashen Hollow is probably gonna be the preferred one, but there was also a nerf to Night Fae. And this nerf to Night Fae means that all of the covenants are a little bit more uh, viable to pick and a little bit closer together with Ashen Hollow perhaps Venthyr, Ashen Hollow perhaps jumping ahead of the pack. However, uh, I still uh, am, am giving hope for my Kyrian uh, pick and I, I have not given up on that completely because uh, we could see Siri works with that as well uh, and maybe even making it the number one flavor of the month, flavor of the week, whatever choice. Uh, healing Hands was also reworked a little bit. It actually is a useful talent now if you are off healing for whatever reason. It's obviously never useful if you're trying to maximize your damage. Uh, it's not good at all. Uh, cause, you know, it's mostly uh, working for your Word of Glory now. And you don't want to spend Holy Power, <laughs> preferably on healing. So uh, not great for uh, Retribution there. But if you do off heal a lot, or it does, or maybe viable in PvP, then a healing hand could be a little bit more useful for you, and it's certainly not just complete trash as it was before. So let's go into a little bit how these abilities work now. So we're gonna basically just focus on the talents because there's nothing I can really show you with the Ashen Hollow uh, change because um, it just it still looks the same. It just uh, it just does a slightly different thing. So. Um, Execution sentence. Let's go over execution sentence, and we'll go over final reckoning and call it call it quits here. Execution sentence. So now your hammer falls slowly for eight seconds, doing percent of attack power. You know the whole formula there. Uh, holy damage, and then twenty percent of the damage you did during that eight seconds while it was falling. So you basically want to do as much damage as you can while that hammer is falling, and then when it falls, it's going to explode for a ton of damage, and. Um, yeah, it's a huge burst. Uh, there's people uh, in the in the beta. Uh, my my details isn't working right now, unfortunately, or else I would try to show you it. But there's people in the beta getting anywhere from 40 to high 50, 50k uh, crits with execution sentence, which is absolutely insane uh, when you you know look at our total health at like 21,000 or whatever. Uh, just a ton of damage. It is there is some bugs to this still. This is going to be fixed, uh, but just a very potent ability. The reason it's so high, though, is because of Final Reckoning. This is a really cool talent, and probably the you know the biggest biggest thing here because it completely changes this row. Uh, calls down a blast of heavenly energy, dealing percent damage, holy damage to all targets. So it's an AOE ability um, uh, in the target area. So you do target it, much like Ashen Hollow, just smaller. Looks pretty cool. Eh, I mean, it looks similar to Blade of Justice, I suppose, but. Um, uh, causing them to take 50% increased damage from your holy power abilities. So it'll from your, uh, from mostly from your final verdict or your divine storm if you are AOEing. Um, <laughs> so it's a huge AOE talent for sure, but it's also pretty good for single target because it aligns with execution sentence so well. And you know your your templar's verdict or final verdict will be doing more damage uh, as well 
while you pour it into the execution sentence. And if you can get a couple of those off, it really amps up your execution sentence damage. Like as we get more haste and you can get more of them in during lust, etc. That's really how you're going to do a ton of damage during that time. So uh, with that, uh, uh, I'll mention a couple more things really. Uh, it looks like uh, just to kind of give an update on the talent build, it looks like, especially for single target, it'll be kind of like Execution Sentence, probably Blade of Wrath as of now, Fist of Justice, or those abilities don't matter, Seraphim, and then Final Reckoning for your talents. As of now, Holy Avenger could be changed, 2 minute cooldown, that which would make it very, very overpowered to line up exactly with Avenging Wrath, which is ideal. Um, Divine Purpose could get an increased proc rate, who knows, this is just as of now. This looks to be the best setup. Uh, Seraphim aligns with Wake of Ashes perfectly. It feels really good when you do the rotation with this, guys, with this current talent setup. Uh, the Wake of Ashes Seraphim combo, Seraphim, then Wake of Ashes, and it feels really good. And then also your Final Reckoning, the new talent, lines up perfectly with the reworked Execution Sentence, both on one-minute cooldowns. So, again, just just kind of works out perfectly. Yes, it's a, it's, they're all in the GCD, so... It does take a GCD uh, into your time, but you know it's still extremely good and extremely actually pretty fun to play. I've only done the rotation through like for a few minutes at a time, but uh, it seemed really to work really well. I wish I had a damage meter so I could actually show you exactly the potential damage of execution sentence, but um, uh, apparently it just is not working for me at least right now. I even tried to download some uh, one that they shared in the the Discord, and that one didn't work either. So. Uh, unfortunately for me. But that's about it, guys. Uh, that's that's the update for a Paladins. Really exciting news. Execution Sentence, currently OP. Probably will be nerfed. Uh, Final Reckoning, extremely cool talent. I didn't even mention the passive on it. One more thing. The passive, so while you're not using it, so let's say you're holding it, um, your attacks have a chance to call down a Holy Bolt, doing Holy Damage, uh, and, those tar and that target takes 10%. So it's more of like a single target ability, but let's say you're doing an encounter or a boss or a pull in a Mythic Plus where you're first fighting a single target and you're holding your you're holding your cooldowns until the AoE part starts, right? So let's say you're doing that. This was the perfect time for that. So it's not doing nothing while you're single targeting. It's still doing something, some some little added damage while you're single targeting. And then when when the, all the stuff comes out, that's when you use it. Do all the do the big blast of damage to them. So that's the passive ability to it, and what makes it such a really cool ability. Something that you know, frankly, rep paladins have not had. So that's that's a that's just another cool thing about this talent, and what makes it so exciting, frankly. So uh, as always, I ask you to please subscribe to the channel because that helps me out so much. And other than that, everybody have a good one.